how to make a copy of a Google Form and save to your Google Drive. This is video two of a series of videos to help you integrate and use Google Forms more effectively in your classroom. My name is Amanda Volz. I'm a personal finance teacher at St. Clair High School in St. Clair, Michigan, and I'm going to show you how to make a copy of your Google Form and then how you can find it and utilize it in your Google Drive. So I am going to use um, video one explained where all the Google Form activities are on the NGPF website. So I'm going to use one of the assessments from the checking unit as a way to show you how to um, save this to your Google Drive for later use. So I am in the checking assessments. I'm just going to use lesson 1.1 and I'm going to view it as a Google form, this particular assessment. And as I stated in the previous video, every time you utilize a Google form from the NGPF website, you're going to be forced to make a copy of that form, which means that now it's your form, you can customize it, you can access all of your students' responses from your copy. So immediately when you make that copy, do you see in the title here at the top of my Google form, it changes it to copy of. Most often when I use these with students, I will just go in and kind of delete that because now it's my copy and I can manipulate it. I can change the questions. You could um, change this title if you wanted to. You have full customization now of this Google form. So if I wanted to, I could just take out maybe some of this title. So that would be the title of my Google form. And now how you access it or save it to your Google Drive, it's automatically actually saving it there. But next to my title up here, there's a folder. So what you can do is you can click on that folder and you can select where you would like it to save in your Google Drive. So I guess one of the first things that you will want to have as a teacher is you'll want to have a Google Drive account. Um, most of you probably using Google Forms and integrating it in your classroom, you probably have a Google for Education account through your district, so you automatically have your Google Drive all set up. But if you don't and you're just looking to start using Google Forms and Google products, sign up for a Google account so you have access to your drive. So immediately it went right to my drive, but if I just go back a folder, this is sometimes what's, what teachers will see um, as the default of where it's going. So I can click on my drive here, and then I have my drive already organized with a bunch of folders. So if I show you here, let me open up my Google Drive through my teacher account. When I go into my Google Drive here, I just organize everything by folder. Um, so you can see I have tons of folders because I use Google Drive all the time. And then I might want to create a checking folder to save all this information too. So let me just click here and then I'm in my drive. If you want to create a new folder for this, I can click on this new folder button, which I'm going to do. And I'm just going to title it checking unit just to make it simple. Yes, check. That's the name I want it to be. And then I'm going to move this particular form into that folder by clicking this move here button. And so what it did is it made my own copy so I can use it in the classroom. And now I moved it from just my general drive. So it's not just in that drive without any organization to a specific folder that was called checking unit. If you already had a folder created, you could simply just move it to that folder by going here. And then in my drive, I would see the folder that I want it to save to. So for example, if I already had it created, um, there it is, checking unit. I could just double click on it and move it there if, if you already had a folder created. So now if I go into my Google Drive, you're going to see that I have a checking unit folder. And when I double click on it, there is my Google Form that I can then use, send off, and integrate with my students.